So I guess this video can best be described as how to make DWM play nice with Steam or how to make Steam play nice with DWM. As we all know, DWM is a very straightforward window manager and it doesn't have any features in it by default. So it's very simple. It's built off of X. So it's a little bit old, but everything works in general and it's very stable, but occasionally you'll have a problem here or there that you need to rectify through some scripting or patching. But it's Linux, you know, so it's ultimately up to you how you want your computer to run. It's not Windows, right, where you're really limited by what Microsoft wants you to change in your desktop. But anyway, so one problem that I had, or the only real problem that I had with Steam on DWM was just tab transitions through games or while gaming actually that's a better way to phrase it transitioning tabs while I was playing a game so what would happen is that let's say I'm playing a game on tag one here I go to tag two and I can still hear the sound on here but I come back here and the video is all of a sudden frozen and this was extremely extremely annoying but I found a very, very straightforward solution. I know that there are some patches for DWM and Steam, or more specifically, a patch to allow some better interaction between Steam and DWM. But for me personally, this is the only issue I face. So I'm not going to install any patches. I'm just going to install a program made by Valve for the Steam Deck, but it actually works pretty damn well in DWM. And this program is called GameScope. Now, GameScope is just a very small microcompositor that's really made for games. And it has many features, but these are the three main ones. Spoofing resolutions, upscaling, and capping frame rates. So rather than explain this through words, it's a little bit hard to explain. I'll just install it and show you. So let's go open a terminal, type pseudo pacman s game scope. Okay, it's a very tiny package. I'm not going to reinstall it. It has some other dependencies, but it's not that big. Anyway, so if we come back to Steam. Now, you have two choices to run game scope. You can either run it on top of Steam meaning like when Steam is executed, you can run it there, or you can call it when a game runs. I prefer to call it when a game runs because not all games exhibit this problem. I think a lot may potentially do this, but yeah, really it's only necessary when a game is kind of behaving strangely like this. So one game that I have a problem with was this one here, Digimon. So you just go to the properties and the launch options. And this is where we call game scope. So we do game scope and we specify the resolution, the refresh rate or FPS. And this is optional here. This is just a flag to go full screen. If you don't do this, it will go into the windowed mode. And it's really cool because it follows the tiling that uh, DWM has set up, which is so nice. And I know it's so basic, but it's just really cool that it does this. Uh, and then this final piece here is just a command that is required for launch options here. Uh, one thing to know is that in the Arch Wiki, they recommend specifying these values, at least these here, the resolution and refresh rate every time, because game scope may not run properly, or at least they may not run at your native resolution that you want or the refresh rate. So this is highly recommended to keep within the launch options when you call game scope. So anyway, let me just mute my speaker so I'm not annoyed by this. Now let's start Digimon. It's a really nice game. It was on sale, so I got it a while back. Okay. And we see that it launched. Let's say I go to tab two, three, go back to one, and it's still going. Um, now let's exit full screen and it's still running and it's still following the, 
the tiling mode, which is so cool, right? If we open the terminal, we can still see it. It's just, I don't know. I thought this was really, really cool. Maybe it's kind of stupid, but I thought this is awesome. Um, yeah, so you can add this to any game that has this problem of, you know, when you navigate out, it freezes. It's just really, really nice because it defeats the purpose of having DWM, right? If I have to exit the game out just to change a tab, what's the point then? I should just go back to a desktop at that point, right? But this was extremely annoying, but very, very easy to fix. And, you know, it still follows the tiling modes, you know, and it changes itself very quickly. There's no loss in performance, right, when you're switching um tabs or full screen mode but yeah that's pretty much it that's how you would set up game scope in steam to help it play nice with dwm or have dwm play nice with steam however you'd like to look at it but yeah if you appreciate the content you like the fat fluffy red hamster you found this useful please give a like and a sub